The biotech industry is worth hundreds of billions of dollars to the US. And yet, for the most part, it's concentrated in just two places. Massachusetts on the East Coast and in California, near the fast-growing companies of Silicon Valley. In recent years, however, New York has emerged as a new biotech hub. To find out why, I've come here to the Alexandria Life Sciences Center, a new research park on the east side of Manhattan. I started off by asking Joel Marcus, the chief executive here, why someone would want to set up a biotech company in a city best known for fashion and finance. One is world-class location, and luckily New York is that, and the Alexandria Center certainly is a world-class uh, campus, science park in the city. Uh, number two, a place that has great science, and I think historically New York is ranked among the absolute top clusters for great science, great clinical uh, practice. Uh, thirdly, you need to have great talent, and New York has an abundance of talent, even the surrounding areas as well, New Jersey, um, Connecticut, etc., have been big pharma locations historically. Now they're kind of moving out of those locations, but the talent is congregated in New York City. And then the fourth element is uh, risk capital, and we've seen over the last couple of years significant risk capital has come in for early stage biotech. So I think it presents a big, big opportunity, and particularly if you look at a number of the companies that have come here, the collaborations by being either a subway away, a taxi ride away with the institutions on products, um, products and other kind of clinical candidates is first in class. Alexandria is known in the business as a translational research facility. The idea is that while the pharma companies keep their best inventions under lock and key in their own labs, their scientists congregate in communal areas like the foyer and one of three restaurants to discuss the latest science and ways they might collaborate. It takes a certain uh, level of excitement around uh, a facility and a place to sort of nucleate thoughts and ideas. It, it also nucleates meetings and science discussion and interchange. Uh, you know, specifically for us, uh, Lilly and Pfizer are investors in our company, so having them uh, right next door, or at least right down the street, is hugely beneficial for us. Uh, we do a lot of looking at oncology technology in New York City, and the head of Lilly Oncology is 100 feet from my office, so it makes it very convenient. There's a huge amount of enthusiasm at this Life Sciences Center, and yet some scientists and executives warn that New York Biotech is at an inflection point. The mayor who put this together, Mike Bloomberg, has left office, replaced by somebody with different priorities, and the heads of two of the biggest research institutions, Rockefeller and Cornell, are moving on. Many scientists and executives say much more needs to be done to ensure that New York remains on the map. David Crow, Financial Times, New York.